The Ford-class aircraft carriers, particularly the USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78, have been heralded as the future of naval power projection for the U.S. Navy. However, they are also mired in a series of significant operational and technical challenges that threaten their effectiveness and reliability. The introduction of advanced technologies, such as the electromagnetic aircraft launch system emails and advanced arresting gear, was intended to enhance performance over the older steam systems used in Nimitz-class carriers. Unfortunately, these systems have not met their reliability targets, leading to operational inefficiencies and raising concerns about the overall viability of the class. One of the most pressing issues with the Ford-class carriers is the ongoing reliability problems with critical subsystems. Reports from the Pentagon's Director of Operational Test and Evaluation indicate that both emails and AAG have experienced failure rates significantly higher than anticipated. For instance, while emails was designed to operate for over 4,000 cycles between failures, testing revealed that it only managed about 600 cycles before encountering issues. Similarly, AAG is expected to function for 16,500 cycles, but has faced breakdowns after just 450 cycles. These deficiencies not only hinder sortie generation, but also compromise flight operations efficiency, which is crucial for maintaining operational readiness in potential conflict scenarios. Moreover, the Ford's jet blast deflectors, essential for protecting personnel and equipment during aircraft launches, have also been problematic. Failures attributed to corroded fasteners in the electromechanical actuators led to significant operational disruptions, including a return to port during a qualification trial due to all four deflectors breaking down simultaneously. Such incidents highlight systemic issues within the ship's design and construction processes that have plagued its operational history since commissioning in 2017. But this is still the best aircraft carrier in the world right now. Beyond sheer size and power, the Ford-class carriers incorporate numerous innovations that streamline operations and reduce crew requirements by nearly 700 personnel compared to their predecessors. This reduction is facilitated by advanced systems like the advanced weapons elevators, which expedite munitions handling and minimize manpower needs. Overall, the Gerald R. Ford class is not just a formidable platform for power projection, but also a testament to modern engineering designed to maintain superiority in naval warfare throughout its expected 50-year lifespan. <laughs>